Hi, I'm Paul Hopkinson, and welcome to my watercolour tips. Now, my quick tip for today is using a putty rubber. Sounds simple, I know, but let me just show you the way that I use it and its benefits. Now, this may sound very basic, but it's worth making a note of it. Now, I tend to use what's called a putty rubber, which is this one here by Faber Castell. And what I like about it, it kind of reminds me of blue tack, really, in a sense. And the idea is, is that you can mould it to whatever shape you want. I do like it, actually. It's not something that you rub with, really. I, I tend not to rub with it. I tend to dab with it, and that will lighten the lines on the paper. So you can just soften them down. Ideal, which you can do if you've drawn out the image ready to do the painting. Just soften it down without damaging the paper. Just so you can sink them back just enough so you can just about see those lines. And uh, so they don't show through the watercolour itself. Okay, so that's a little tip about using a putty rubber where you can mould it to one little point like that and take a little tiny area off if you want to. If you'd like to see more watercolour painting tips, head to patreon.com forward slash the Devon Artist and you'll see my full list of step-by-step -step video tutorials on how to paint wildlife in watercolour. Where you get also the project photo, the outline drawing for that month's project as well, and even a step-by-step -step handwritten or hand-typed by me full PDF on that particular current month's project. So come and join me and let's get painting together. And don't forget to click on like, subscribe and share. And please leave a comment down below as well. I'd love to kind of hear your thoughts and find out what you've been up to on your painting ventures. So until next time, bye bye for now.